Hi, everybody. This is Laura, City Scrapper. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today, I have a layout chair for you. I'm going to be showing you the 30 layouts that I made for Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches from September. We're getting ready to do the next round of Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches, so I wanted to do a layout chair before that started up. I don't think that this time I'm going to be able to create a layout or a video a day on the day that everyone else is publishing their video, but I am committed to doing all the sketches, even if they're not at the same time frame as everybody else. Sometimes life just kind of gets in the way, but I do have 30 sketches here to show you, so I'm going to get started right in. This first layout is called Joy. This layout was made using the Kay & Company collection called Peppermint Twist. It's an old collection by Brenda Walton. I really love it a lot though. I've been using it a lot. I just love the colors in this collection. I did some stitching on this layout. I stitched these triangles and then I also did some stitching with white embroidery floss around the edge of the background. I used a lot of different embellishments. I used some Martha Stewart embellishments. I used some flowers from different manufacturers. The title Joy, this was an embellishment from the paper collection, and I used some die cuts of pine branches. I also used some of these gingerbread men, and those are my favorite embellishment on the page. This layout is called Christmas Eve. For this, I used a Christmas theme collection by Basic Gray. I put some blue spray in the background, and I chose blue because it is part of the color palette of these pattern papers, but there's not too much of it in the papers, so I like the way that created contrast between the background and the papers. I used some of the chipboard pieces that were uh, in part of the collection, and I also used a lot of Jolie stars. This layout is called Frightful. This layout was made using my very, very favorite basic gray Halloween collection. It's called Eerie. And I used a lot of strips of paper that I had left over and I created these strips and I distressed them so that they would look a little more Halloween themed. I added some ephemera that I had in my stash and some of these words. I also added some of these recollections swirls in black and some gold thickers. I didn't use any pattern papers to make fantastic Salem. I did a lot of mixed media on the background. I used a whole bunch of this drywall tape that I was in love with and I still really like it for making texture in the background. I added some sprays, I added some modeling paste, and then I used these Technique Tuesday circles. I stamped on them and added some sprays and then I added these jewels that I found in my stash and some of these fabric bows. This layout is called Nyack Street Fair. For this, I used a Simple Stories collection. This isn't my very favorite layout of these 30 layouts, but I do really like the way the photos were arranged. It allowed me to cover up some places in the photos that really didn't need to be seen, but show the important places. I used some enamel dots and some flowers that were in my stash, a tag with a ribbon on it and it seems stuck right now but oh there we go but I'm able to add some journaling I have to get around to doing that this layout is called lovely to make this layout I use a die cuts with a view paper pad that was called preserved paper and since I didn't have any embellishments to go with it I did a lot of fussy cutting of the images that were in the pad and then I used foam to pop some of them up and layer did a lot of layering in order to give the layout some dimension. I used some ribbon on the tags and I tied the ribbon with some string. I fussy cut out some butterflies and I popped those up on some foam and then in the background I used 
a stencil and I put some modeling paste through the stencil for some pops of white. This layout is called Our Christmas Decor and to make this layout I used a Pink Fresh Studio collection called Holiday Vibes. I love the way there is pink and light blue in this collection. I wanted to document some of the Christmas decorations that we use each year at our house and so I wanted to have fairly large sized photos of different things around the house. We, Of course we have other additional decorations but these are some of the most important ones. So the majority of the layout is covered with the photos but I also used some frames. I used a strip of paper going down the center with some chipboard pieces and then I also used this little house with some Christmas trees on either side to kind of reflect the fact that uh, it's the Christmas decor in our home. This layout is called Little Birdie. I made this layout using one of my favorite collections. It's from My Mind's Eye, it's called Hello Gorgeous. I just love the colors that are in this collection. I don't have a lot of the embellishments, but I did fussy cut out some of the flowers and I think those make great embellishments for the page. I just love the flowers in this collection. I added a banner and then I used these chipboard buttons and then Following the sketch, I layered a whole bunch of pattern papers that were cut out using some different border punches. My daughter's nickname is Little Birdie, and this happened to be on something, some kind of the embellishment that was in the collection. And there was something else written here, but I covered it up with some of the flowers so that it perfectly labels this picture of my younger daughter. This layout is called Discover. For this, I used just a little bit of Graphic 45 pattern paper. I used some of these Melissa Francis stars. They are resin stars and a Kay and Company uh, dragonfly. And then I used some sprays in the background and some modeling paste. And I put the modeling paste through a stencil that has fish on it. And that one is called Discover, if I didn't say that already. <laughs> This layout is called So Amusing. This is a layout from Salem, Massachusetts when we went there at Halloween time. So when I make my albums, I make every page, even if it's not directly related to the Halloween portion of our trip, I make it Halloween themed. So we went into a museum and they found these, I think they're emus. So I called it So emu Emusing, Emusing. Um, and in the background, I put a lot of sprays and some modeling paste through a stencil. It's a grid stencil that I really like. And I again use that basic gray Eerie collection that I just love the colors in it. There's just so much happening in this piece of paper, even though it's just a monochromatic page. I used some chipboard stars and I added some jewels to them for some accents. Those are actually wood veneer stars, not chipboard stars. This layout is called Sweet You. I used a pad by a company called First Edition. It was called Wanderlust. And I fussy cut out a whole bunch of flowers to make the wreath. And then I used some dyes to add some leaves to the layout. And I added title made of some different chipboard letters. I added some photo corners with some pearls and you can see that I had these green pearls throughout the layout. I also added this bow. This is a hair bow from the dollar store and I added this dark blue paper. This is from a different collection. This is from a Heidi Swap collection. And I really love the color scheme of this paper. It's very different. This layout is called Fun Day. To make this layout, I use the Maggie Holmes Collection Garden Party, and it's one of my favorite Maggie Holmes collections. I just love the bright colors, the pinks and the blues and the yellows uh, against the black background that some of the papers have. I also really like these Technique Tuesday chipboard pieces. 
the thing that's nice about them is that they have this white surface that you can stamp on. And so to me, they're ideal. There is some thickness to them, but you can also customize them. And I use some stamps that I had in my stash. And I also use some inks to make them uh, the colors that would match the pattern papers. I added some fussy cut flowers from the collection. And this layout came together pretty quickly. This layout is called Celebrate. And I just absolutely love this sketch. I loved everybody's layout that used this sketch to make their uh, their pages. I love the way there are all of these lines, all of this movement, and I think it's perfect for something like a birthday layout, anything where there's excitement. So I used some embroidery thread in all different colors, and then at the ends of some of the lines of thread. I put some of these stars. These are from Paper Studio. And then I also use some thickers. I think this was from the Maggie Holmes collection, sorry, confetti collection that was birthday themed. And I just really love the combination of the gold and the glittery stars and the embroidery thread. This layout is called Mischievous. I made this using some Lindy's Magicals in the background, and I used a grid stencil that I had used on another page with some modeling paste. I did some stamping on the background as well, and some splatters. And then I used the Tim Holtz paper pad called Abandoned to make the circles. And then I used some more of those Technique Tuesday chipboard pieces. These are, of course, the stars. And I used some sprays and some stamps on those. And I had a lot of fun making this page. This layout is called Together. And this was from my older daughter's 18th birthday party. She is turning 25 next month. So this is from a while back. But she had a party at P.F. Chang's with a bunch of her friends from high school. So these are the pictures from that party. I use the Maggie Holmes collection called Confetti, which is a birthday themed collection. And I used some of the chipboard from that collection. And then I added a bow, some enamel dots. I used some sprays in the background with some black acrylic paint splatters. I used this border punch from my stash. And I added in these little black circles. I'm not really sure where I got them from, but I thought that they were a good complement to the black that was in the paper collection. This layout is called By the Shore. I used the Bow Bunny Boardwalk collection to make this layout. I cut out the parts to make the sun, and then I stitched them using some white embroidery thread. Behind that, I put some sprays and then I used a very small circle stencil and I added some dots to the background and then I used quite a few different brands of embellishments some Jolie's and some other different embellishments to make these two clusters and I did some stitching along the bottom and around the photo as well. This layout is called A Day in the Life. This was also made using the My Mind's Eye collection called Hello Gorgeous. For this layout, I fussy cut out, again, a lot of the flowers that are in this collection. I also used some die cuts. I added some sequins to the background. It's not something that I do a lot, and I really like it. I should use sequins more often. I love the way they add some shine to the layout. For this cluster, I used all fussy cut pieces and elements that were from the collection. And I added some of the die cuts and some pearls to help accent the flowers. And I did the same thing over here. This layout is called Be Colorful. I used the Vicki Booten Color Study Collection for the pattern paper. And then I used one of the Vicki Booten stamps that I had in my stash, but it was from a previous collection. And then I just used some black acrylic paint to paint three stripes. And I added a whole bunch of enamel shapes to the background and I just kept them in the same color order as the 
guess butterflies or moths. I'm not really sure which one. And then I used this title from the Vicki Booten color study sticker sheet to make the title. This layout is called Beautiful Ruins, and I almost forgot to show you this one because it's a two-page spread, and I made this for both Christie's Beautiful Life and Stretch the Sketch, so I had it in a different pile. But this layout, called Beautiful Ruins, was made using photos from Eastern State Penitentiary, which is an old prison, and it's now a museum in Philadelphia, and it's a really cool place, and we took a lot of photos when we were there, and I really liked the way there were a lot of colors in all of these photos, so I pulled out some of them, the green and the yellow and the brown, and I used those colors to pick out pattern papers. I used a border punch for the top and the bottom. I thought it went well with the theme, and then I layered up some wood grain paper and some yellow, green, and a grayish blue paper that I thought uh, went well with the photos. I also used some metal embellishments that I had in my stash along with some circular frames. This layout is called What Remains and the photos are a series of photos from an abandoned building. I wanted to kind of highlight the fact that these photos were of rusty things and make the layout look a little bit shabby. So I used some texture paste in the background in black, and then I used these rusted stars. I believe these are Prima brand. I also used some wood veneer pieces. Some of them I just left wood color, and some of them I colored this turquoise color, which I pulled from these photos. I used this film strip. I really just put together a whole bunch of things that I had in my stash that didn't have any relationship to each other, but that I thought would add to the layout. It's a different kind of layout for me, but I enjoy trying something new. This layout is called Firefly and Butterflies. To make this layout, I use the Paige Evans Turn the Page collection. I use the banners as they were in the sketch, and then I put some blue sprays in the background. I fussy cut out some flowers and then I inked the edges and I made three clusters. I also included some die cuts, some branches. I used mainly the embellishments from the Turn the Page collection. I also used some photo corners that I punched out using an EK Success photo corner punch. This layout is called Hocus Pocus, and I didn't use, it looks like, any pattern paper on this page other than the paper that's behind the photos, and that's again from the Tim Holtz Abandoned Collection. I used these spider webs. These are like doilies. I got these from Michaels several years ago. I put some sprays in the background. I used a stencil with some modeling paste. I also did a whole bunch of stamping. And then I stamped these leaf images. And then I used some embossing powder to make them shiny. And then I just used a whole bunch of Halloween colored flowers. And I popped a jack-o'-lantern into each of those clusters. This layout is called So Fun. I again use the Vicki Booten Color Study Collection, and I love the contrast between this paper that is black, but it also has a lot of colors in it, and this lime green color. So I use the lime green to make the heart, and then I cut out a whole bunch of the butterflies, and I used some inks to make them different colors. And then I did a lot of splatters in the background and I layered some of the pattern papers behind the photo. This layout is called I Love October. And the thing I love about this layout is that I was able to recycle a background that I had made for a different layout and I ended up not using it. And then I was able to use it for this layout and I think that it 
worked out pretty well. I wasn't forcing it. I think that it goes very well with not only the photo, but the theme and the pattern papers. So I again used one of those spider web doilies and I used some different sprays and some stamping in the background, lots of splatters. And then I just use a whole bunch of ephemera pieces from my stash. This layout is called Mary in the Making. For this layout, I used this pattern paper and the pattern papers that are layered behind the photo from the K and Company Yuletide collection. That's a really old collection. And then I also used some blue sprays on the background. And I think it's interesting that I used blue on a lot of the backgrounds that I made for this set of layouts. I used some transparencies. These have gold stars on them. And then I also use some transparencies with red flourishes. I use lots of Jolie stars, different kinds of Jolie stars. And I punched out a little tab that says the year. This layout is called Relax and Enjoy. For this layout, I used a die cut with a view paper pad called Mikasa. I also used some Martha Stewart birds. And then I added in some fancy pants chipboard pieces and I layered up some stars on the banner. And I also used these Prima metal pieces. This layout is called Celebrate 20 Today. It's another birthday themed layout. I again use the Maggie Holmes confetti collection to make this layout. I did a lot of stitching around the outside and down the diagonal. I used some sprays in the background along with a stencil that was of sprinkles. So I like the way the sprinkles look in the background. I used some recollection stickers that matched suspiciously well with this collection, but I also used some of the Maggie Holmes chipboard pieces and ephemera pieces that were part of the collection. This layout is called Love Anchors the Soul. This is a photo of my younger daughter when we were on the ferry going from Cape Cod or going from, I'm sorry, Martha's Vineyard to Cape Cod. And I used a Prima collection that has these beautiful roses in it. And I love, love, love this wood grain paper in the background. I did a lot of fussy cutting and a lot of layering of papers. And everything on the layout is from that collection. I just added in a couple of die cuts to just add a little extra touch to the layout. This layout is called Happy Together. To make this layout, I used this great pad from Recollections. It was called Mixed Media. I just love the papers in this paper pad. I didn't have any embellishments because it was just a paper pad, so I did a lot of fussy cutting. I fussy cut out some flowers, some butterflies, and then I added in some of these stamped leaves that I had embossed with white embossing powder. I used some Momenta stickers to create the title Happy Together. I added some self-adhesive pearls, and I also used some white paint to highlight some areas of the butterflies and the leaves. This layout it's called Such a Wonderful Day. This is from day 30, but I have one more layout after this to show you. And for this layout, I used an older My Mind's Eye collection that is called Miss Caroline. And I like the color scheme for this collection. I love this beautiful print. It looks like it's kind of an older print and we went to an antique store. So I thought that this would be a good combination, but it would still be a bright and cheery. I used some punches, I cut out some butterflies, and I put some different color pearls in the center. I also used a Fisker's scalloped punch to punch out these borders, and I layered up some of the papers. Here's another punched out border that I used, and then I added some of these dimensional flowers and leaves using a die. And then this layout was made from a sketch that I thought was going to be in 30 Days of Sketches, but I 
didn't check back and I should have and so I ended up making this layout but uh, even though the sketch wasn't included in 30 days I still had a layout and I used a K and Company collection called Engrave Garden to make this layout that's called Sublime. This is from a museum that is in Manhattan. It is called the Cloisters Museum and I thought that this collection went really well with the colors in this photo. I used some embellishments that were from the collection. Pretty much all of the embellishments were from the collection, although I did use a few pearls from my stash. And then I love the way there was a pigeon in this collection because that is something that you see everywhere when you go to New York City. So thank you so much for watching this video, everybody. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing all the layouts that I created for Christie's Beautiful Life. 30 Days of Sketches from Series 8. Series 9 will be next month, starting in March. And if you would like to check out the sketches and check out all of the beautiful layouts that everybody makes and hopefully follow along and make your own layouts, you can sign up for the Facebook page. I'll put a link to the Facebook page in the description box. I hope that everybody has a fantastic day. Thank you again for watching. I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.